Hello everyone, it's Jill here and welcome to my craft. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how I've made this beautiful card of this huge bee. It's a woodware stamp again and it's called Be Happy. And it's quite a large stamp this one. It's three and seven eighths by four and three quarters. So I'm putting it onto a seven by seven card. And uh, let's get started. I'll show you how we've done that. So first off i've put my stamp into my stamping platform because it's such a big stamp again we need to um possibly stamp twice um because of the pressure and uh, there we go i'm going to start with versifying clear in nocturne so i'm going to be working in some watercolors today so you just gently tap all over that down this is my hand made stamping platform that my very good friend Lizzie made for me um, if you've got any of the others you know use what you've got let's have a look what we've got with that yeah you can see it needs to go in again gentle tap 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 there we go and over again more pressure using my little again homemade little tool that I've got just to put a bit more pressure onto that let's have a look sorry I've knocked you again if I did a video without knocking wow yeah that's absolutely fine so just put my ink away and take that out of the platform and I've got a little bit of paper here I just normally put back in it until I can clean up in a moment I don't want that damaging anything so here we are I'm just going to dry that off I don't want any smudging and the card I'm using today is the Lavinia stamp one um, it takes a nice lot of water which is great and there we go it's a pot of water and I'm going in with my Winsor & Newton little stamp palette here and just squirt a bit of water on. There we go, let's find a brush. So I'm going to start with the B. Oh, I don't know if that's the best brush actually, let's have a look. No, I'll go with that. Let's start with the B. A bit of yellow. More of that. Mm, this bit of this brown just to add a little bit of contrast. It's quite an orangey, orange, a uh, yellow, browny orange. So I'm not going to be too precious about this. This is quite a um, almost grungy stamp. So let's just do that for a moment. Get a bit of a dry off. Doesn't need to be perfectly dry before we carry on. But I'm going to be using the heat gun quite a lot on this. A bit more of the yellow. And it just adds a, a, a tiny bit of tone, if you like, this by using the two colours. You can see it's not, I uh, don't have to go right into the edges or the corners. Bit more yellow on him I think just there brilliant so that'll do for that now for his wings a little bit of white I always mix on the mat tiny bit of blue so I'm just gonna do a very 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 pale color wash on this on the wings. I'm just going to paint over it with some mica a bit later just to give a tiny bit of sparkle. There we go. So I'm not too worried about going over the lines either. As I said it's quite a grungy stamp. Just 
there we go so that will do for that let's just use the uh bit off of my mat and dry again So I'm painting the bee first and then I'm going to paint the background after. I looked at doing it the other way, but to be honest, I felt it was easier for me this way. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to use to paint the background is some ultramarine in the brushos. She says, actually, I'm using turquoise in the brushos. Um, I've just got the wrong pot out. But anyway, that's how I store mine. Little uh, marmalade pots, jam pots, whatever. You can get these in the real cheapy shops. And they're great. Absolutely great. I've got a lid on them. And uh, you can mix them up and keep them for however long you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp this card down. Being careful just not to go over the bee itself, just around the edges. like so it's just so that our brusho spreads around a bit in a minute there we go a, bit, a nice bit of color on there which we can now spread around because we've got the water on there just gently go around the uh, edges of the wings doesn't matter if you leave that a little bit of white space just all adds to the what I call the grunge again this is a fair bit of water going on here so this card takes it really well spread that round a bit like so my lid back on get my cloth remove all that and then obviously I've got to go back in and dry again before I can do anything else so here we are again all dried a little bit curled just fold your paper back out curl it back round again That's absolutely fine. So now I'm just going to pop a little bit of uh, mica powder onto the wings. Now this is from a set of from Stance Away, just called mica powders, and I've just chosen one that's iridescent. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that onto my mat, like so, and mix with a bit of water. You can see there how it's sparkly; it all is already. Bit more water. There we go, we don't need very much. Just pop that on there. As I said, I'm not being too precious about lines on this one so much because it is quite grunge. Okay, that's that done. So I don't know if you can see the sparkle on that, on the wings. And again, I need to do a bit more drying. Right, so we're nice and dry again. And I'm going to do a little bit of colour on these um, hexagons here because it looks a bit plain like that. So to do that, I've just got some watercolour pencils, um, some Derwent watercolours, and I've got um, an olive green and an orange chrome. So it will pick up a little bit of the background as well, but I quite liked that. So we're just going to pop in there and colour these in. And then I'll put a little bit of water onto them just to take out like the pencil marks. Again, not too precious about uh, filling it all in completely. You just have that tiny little bit of colour, a bit more interest into your background. 
and then these ones over this side. There we go. Yeah, that's great. Look, my pencil's just broken. That's just as well I've finished with that one. <laughs> So now I'm just going to come back in and uh, water that down. And you see it just takes out those pencil marks. If it, if it picks up a little bit of that blue from the background, it doesn't really matter. It's all that blue, greeny, greeny blue type thing going on. Yeah, and that just makes that pop a little bit more as well. There we go. Change colour. Fresh water, there we go. So that's looking quite nice like that. So again, I might just give that a little bit of bath for the heat gun just to dry that off. Excellent. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment and this is happy day. Happy day it says. And I'm just going to stamp it onto a little bit of this so that when I cut it off it's matching the background as well. So again, I'm going in with my Versafine Claire in black. Just going to stamp that there. Excellent. Then I'm going to trim that off. So I've actually got my sentiment strip the same colour as my background. take a little bit more off the bottom there we go let's line that up and I'm going to have a short sentiment I don't want a lot full length strip just make sure that's done like that brilliant I'm also going to trim down the actual card itself because I've got a bit too much on this side if you like Very good right so the next step that I did was I came in with a, a black uniball micron pen and I'm just going to fill in a few more of these lines here because some of them have just been over um, they've been over gone with the paint so I'm not going to fill them all in just a few Just to pop the mat back out again. And because it's grunge, it doesn't matter if you do that. Like so. There we go. So the next step is I'm just going to do a few little paint splats all over this with some white. And I just use a little tiny bit of acrylic. Tiny drop on the mat. Oops, that's way too much, but never mind. And I'll get a little fan brush and we'll just water that down a minute. I'll just do a few little splats. Lovely. Right, let's do some remainder of that. See, that was way too much. <laughs> Never mind. Just clean my mat off again. And again, I'm going to do a little bit more drying. I'll be back with you in a moment. <laughs> So here we are back again. So the next step I'm going to do is put some ink around the edges. And for that I'm using some Versafine Claire in Warm Breeze. I'm 
I'm just going to start off and come in a bit around like that. Gently bring it in from the edge. Always want to start off the page and bring it in. There we go. That just adds that lovely little border around the edge. Yeah, let's lose all that ink there. Right, also I'm just going to do this little bit around here. Brilliant. So obviously that's going to go like that when we're ready. I'm going to put that to one side for the moment. I'm going to come back to the card itself. I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling on the card because I thought it would be rather nice to have some sort of interest going on here. So I've actually got a stencil here that's called um, Tracery and this is from um, Creative Expressions. I'm just going to find the right side. I'm sure there's a right side. I just felt this went with the B itself. Um, it was the most suitable one that I had in my craft kit. So I am coming in with Broken Trina Distress Ink and my little brush. But I don't want it too heavy, if you like. I don't want it too deep in colour. So I'm just going to take a little bit off from the mat there. And then just coming quite lightly here. Doesn't look as though it's doing very much, but it is. And obviously you can see my stencil isn't as big as the card, but it's because it's got a repeating pattern on it, I can line it up and move it. Like so, and then I can just find that repeat goes in there and come back in again with a bit more this end. Yeah, I think that looks lovely. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mat this onto some black, then white, then black again. And I will come back to you and show you how I just put that all together. I'll see you in a moment. So here we are ready to mount again. And I've put this onto some black, then white, then black again. I just felt it made the uh, actual image itself pop. I'm just going to pop that down onto our card. Let's get rid of all this sticky tape. And pop that. I always go by eye. <laughs> Which is quite nice for me. You may prefer a little measuring stick. Now this little message, I was just going to pop down the side here. But because we've got this depth of cut all these different cards, if you just... Stick that down, you're going to end up with a bit that's wobbling up and down. So you just need to pop a little bit of double-sided foam on one end that's going to stick out onto here. And it will just balance that out a bit. I just need a little bit of white glue. And um, we can just stick that on like that then. And that'll just secure that enough to stop it doing that. And there we have it. All done. So that's another lovely card from um, Woodware, another stamp from Woodware, and a really beautiful design. Takes up the whole card. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that's given you some inspiration. Please subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.